So this is the start of my trug. Um, here's a little piece of dowel that I've made out of beach. And the idea is, is that I've drilled out the hole where the handle will pivot. And I'm using that as a way of holding the two bits of wood together. I've marked the curve on each side of my trug and I just used a, a tin of a polish, wax polish, just to get the, the curve on there. And I'll cut that out with my bandsaw, both sides, and sand it. And uh, on the wood itself, which is basically this stuff, so this is, uh, it's an old shelving unit basically, and the idea was is that you could slot it together in uh, different configurations, sort of like this, you can see they're all joined, and you'd slot it together different ways and it would give you different sort of compartments but I'm cutting it up and using it as a raw material for other things trugs being one of them and I'll make the little slats that go across it yeah same as you can see there's a bit of a around here so I'm going to make that flat as well cut out this shape and then once I'm happy with that I will give it all a good sand just to brighten the wood up a bit and you can see it's got some black marks on it i'll get rid of all that and then i will make some little strips out of these probably similar width to that and then i'll go around the curve of the truck so there'll be a thicker one there each end and then i'll come around here with them the whole thing itself is probably about 32 centimetres, 320 mil, or one, two, three, four, five, 12 and five eighths in old money. And it will be, uh, I'm thinking probably, maybe 250 mil wide which is about nine and three quarter inches, give or take. So it will be quite a, a respectable size, good enough for putting your stuff, you know, stuff that you've grown in. Um, ironically, I've made quite a few of these now and we don't have any of our own because I've managed to sell them all. Um, so maybe this one will be the one that we actually use when we need to go and pick stuff from the allotment. So now I'm just going to cut that out and tidy the wood up then I'll get on to making the slats all right just cutting the slats now so this pile of wood basically is one of the longer lengths cut down to the size I want and I've done that just by setting up a guide on my bandsaw I do have a table saw but because my shed workshop whatever you want to call it is only small by the time I've actually got it out and set it up it's quicker for me just to set up the guide and use my bandsaw so these are the slats, so I've cut them to the length I want, which is 250 mil or thereabouts. And uh, I'm just using one as a template, basically. So we'll pick one and get rid of that feathering off the edge. And all I'm doing is just putting them in the vise, laying my little template one up to them. marking it I'm not even going to worry about squaring them off because it's um, it's not really worth the aggravation if I'm honest and it adds to the rustic charm of it I guess and then once I've got it marked I'm just gonna cut it <laughs> okay so I've uh, cut some slats if you like, these will go across here and I've clamped it together. Uh, I've decided to go onto the outside of the, the truck with the slats rather than on the inside 
I don't know, I just kind of like it better that way. There you go. Uh, each one of these I'm going to drill. So I'll put a pilot hole on each end so that when I bash them in, uh, when I nail it together, I won't um, split the wood. And I'm just going to use these, these are little oval wire nails. And they're about the right length. They'll go all the way through and a good 10 mil into the other bits of wood. And I'll count the sink them as well. So I've got a little nail punch. <coughs> and I'll count, them, count the sink them. These will all be glued on as well. So this is going to take a little bit of time. Well, I've started here. So I've already drilled the hole out. So I'm just going to take the clamps off, put some glue on and nail it. And the drill bit I'm using is quite a fine drill bit. It's probably a little bit thinner than the actual nail, but uh, that's about right. And then obviously, I'm just going to use a pin hammer to knock the nails in. Right, I'll start this end. I'll take these little clamps off, and then I'll put them back on just to make sure it help holds together nice and tight. You can see as well that I've gone into the wood on there just a little bit as well. So, let's get a bit of glue on. There. And there it is just a case. Pick up the nails I've got. I've gone all the way over. Um, to space out the, the slats, I'm just going to use a thin piece of wood and I'll put one on and I'll get to about here and then I'll switch to the other side because I'll need to work out what size of piece of wood I need for the middle section. So it's literally just a case of drill through each piece of wood. Apply some glue, not too much, but I can't wipe off any extra. And then nail it to it. So there we go, there's the basic shape of the thing, and obviously it will sit like that. I need a thinner or slightly fatter strip for the middle there. And then once that's done, I'll just set this aside, let the glue dry and make sure it's all together. And then I'll go around with uh, one of my little pin punches and I'll make sure all these nail heads are well below the surface of the wood before I sand it. 
so there's that bit and then the next bit will be the handle which will pivot on these points with these bits of dowel that I've made so you'll be able to fold the handle flat for storage purposes and what have you but there's that bit so I just need to let this I'll let the glue dry do this middle strip here and then I'll uh, work out what I'm going to do with the handle all right on to the next step okay so here's the body of the truck I've already started sanding it a bit and uh, softening some of these edges obviously it needs a bit of a finish it's all uh, nice and sturdy and uh, now it's time to make the handle now the handle the idea is is it will pivot on this hole and the handle itself well I'm unsure at the moment whether to have it so that it folds to this edge or whether it folds and goes right behind that that part there um, just to make it easier to store really but I'll figure that out in a minute so all I've done is I've taken another couple of bits of the shelving wood and I've marked the center I'm now going to put a hole all the way through these two bits which will fit a piece of dowel and it will marry up with this as well and that will create the pivot for the handle so I'm just going to do that using a, a forstner bit so I've used a 14 mil forstner bit I think it is and I'll put the dowel all the way through there and then I'll work out a design for the the handle or I might just make it a plain straight one and cut it out I don't know yet anyway I'm just gonna drill the hole so there's the hole drilled and my dowel it's quite a tight fit so it fits all the way through I'll probably sand it a bit just to make it a little looser so now figure out what I want or what shape I want the handle to be um, so I've marked the center this end and I've marked the length that I want it now I've got a rough idea of the curve I want on the bottom of the handle the top is going to need obviously something to hold on to um, kind of like a basket handle and I'm probably Going to use a piece of this this is a I don't know if that's long enough we'll see it's either that piece or that bit might do a bit better so, I think. so it's just a piece of stud work timber and i will cut this probably about there and turn it on the lathe so i've got a nice round handle and I need to put a hole up here for the handle to go through and for that I'm going to use a force in a bit again and I'm probably going to go about 25 mil There's my 25 mil force in a bit. I think the hole needs to be about there. If I remember rightly. Yep, that'll mean the handle will close past it. So I'll drill the hole all the way through and then I'll shape this section here into something that I, I'm happy with. And uh, we'll go from there. Right, so I'll just drill the hole. Okay, so I've got the rough shape for my handle. Um, obviously, I've got to make another one. Well, that's easy enough if I use that there, a bit of dowel there, and then I clamp it together. I can just trace round, which I'll do that now, actually. Cut the shape out, and then keep them clamped together as I sand it up and just refine the, the shape. Right. 
So there's that one. And the idea is, like I said, so this is the handle, and it will fit in the body of the truck, like that, and it will pivot, so you can hold it, and then fold it away to make it easier to store when you're not using it. Right, so she'll get on and cut this out and get the handle sorted out. And then I can turn the piece of wood that's going to go through here and then obviously there. Okie dokie. Okay, so there's my two little handles made and uh, sanded up. Now all I've got to do is turn this, or a piece of it anyway, so that it's round to go through those two bits there. And then it's almost finished really. So I'm just going to cut this to whatever width it is, and I think this stuff is about 38 mil or inch and a half. So I'm going to measure in from that edge, inch and a half, and cut it. And that will give me a piece of wood that's square, which I can then centre up and turn round on the lathe. Uh, obviously, I've got to cut it first, though. So I'll get on and do that. So there's my handle made. So I've just got to trim the ends off and probably put a bit of glue in. The bits of dowel here that the handle actually pivots on, they've got to be cut off. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a drill bit of more or less the right size and I'm going to drill down either side of there at least halfway into the dowel and I'll do the same on the handle here I'll drill a hole in it and I'll put a peg in just to make sure that nothing comes apart and then it's just a case of sanding it all up and it'll be done um, I've used obviously a lathe to make the handle part um, but you don't have to you could use a thick piece of dowel I just didn't have any and as I can make it, then that saves me time and money. But this is made from scrap wood and it doesn't really require any specialised tools whatsoever. It could all be done with hand saws and they're uh, just, you know, nails, hammer, and a drill. Not much to it, really. So I'm just going to put the pegs in on the handles. And then I'll cut everything off and then it's just a case of giving it a sand and finishing it in a way that I'm happy with. And that'll be that. So with the pegs, a similar process to the making the plant trellis. I'm just going to literally drill a hole. through but I can make the hole a little bit bigger I'll glue it in be 
be fine. So we will I'll just cut that bit off because I don't need it. Just a bit of glue in the hole that I've drilled. And I'll get the skewer and tap it in with a hammer. in that side and that was about that really so I'll just cut those bits off and when I give it a sand and they'll come Nice and flush. And that's basically it. One trug. So I'll just cut those off now. Rustic truck. It's quite light because the wood's only pine, so it's not that heavy at all. There is quite a, might well, I say, quite a gap. There is a gap between these little slats, so if you were carrying anything small, you'd probably want to put a piece of cloth in there. But it's fine for potatoes or apples or something like that. And uh, the handle is a bit stiff at the moment, but that will eventually loosen up a bit. And the purpose of the the little peg in there, so the peg goes in and locks that dowel in place. So it will pivot, but it will also stop that dowel from coming out at all. So, And that's it. One truck. So all I'm going to do now is sand up these rough edges and take the corners off some of the pieces so they're a bit smoother and then uh, yeah can use it then all right one uh, one truck okay thanks for watching <laughs>